This is Annette from Needlepointers.com. One of my favorite wildflowers is Queen Anne's Lace, which is also called Wild Carrot. And one of my favorite activities with Queen Anne's Lace is to dye it, dry it, and place it in dried floral arrangements or use it in craft projects. But if you have kids, Dyeing Queen Anne's Lace would be a fun summer science activity. Continue watching this video to see how to dye Queen Anne's Lace. Visit our Queen Anne's Lace dyeing page for the benefits and uses of this plant, a written photo tutorial on how to dye it, and suggestions of dyeing it as a simple kitchen science and STEM experiment for kids. To visit the page, click the i-card or the link in the description section. To dye Queen Anne's Lace, begin by harvesting it by cutting the stem with a scissor. Fill a glass or mason jar or vase halfway with water. Then squirt in 10 to 30 drops of liquid food coloring. Now I'm gonna be making, I'm gonna to try to make some orange. So I'm mixing some red. And some yellow together. And I'm really not doing too much counting. I'm just going to put it in. Later on, if I think that the flowers are not um, dying quickly enough, I might uh, put in more dye into the jar. Stir it, and then you need to cut your stems diagonally. Now, I've already done this on this stem. I hope you can see it. It's cut diagonally and place them into the jar. Also, make sure that no leaves are in the water. Now it's time to wait and see what happens. After a few days, Look how vibrant my Queen Anne's Lace bouquet is. Bring some magic into the summer season by coloring Queen Anne's Lace for yourself or with your children. I know you won't be disappointed. Did you like this video? Please like, comment, and share. Subscribe to our channel and follow us on Facebook, Pinterest, and Twitter. To follow us, click the i card or the link in the description section. In addition, visit our website, needlepointers.com, for lots of crafting information and projects. <music>